I said that two years ago we needed comprehensive health reform, and today I say it again. I agree with President Obama. Millions of Americans and many lawmakers on both sides of the aisle see that the time for reforming our health care system is now. We're headed down this unsustainable path because most of the incentives built, to the, built into the current system are designed to raise costs both in the areas of health insurance and in medical services. We currently operate under a system that promotes inefficiency, encourages waste, and invites fraud. If we stay the course and we do nothing new with our nation's health care system, we do threaten the American dream. Our future entitlement obligations will grow, people will pay even more money, and they'll receive less care. They'll have to fill out more forms and wait longer to get the tests and see the doctors they need to see. There will be fewer doctors, nurses, and health care professionals to take care of our increasing number of patients. So we do have to reform our health care system, and the best time to do that is now. Now, let me be clear. I do want to support a bipartisan health reform bill. I also believe that it's possible to get broad bipartisan support behind such a bill. That means Republicans, Democrats, independents, high incomes, lower incomes, it doesn't matter. We all worry about health care, and if we are committed to finding real solutions, then we will find some that we can agree on. I believe that many of my colleagues are beginning to see that increasing the size and scope of government's role in health care and a further squeezing of private marketplace will drive up costs and drive down quality and increase wait times every single time. Many Democrats and Republicans can agree to basic reforms that would foster an atmosphere of competition by demanding that insurers compete on price and value rather than providing the ability to pick lower cost, lower risk patients. A bipartisan bill would protect consumers by providing them with better information, that's the quality, price, and nature of coverage, by the competing plans. And one of the most common concerns I hear people as I travel around my state of Wyoming is they don't know what they're getting for their money until after they've been to the doctor or the hospital. And sometimes they're surprised. Now there isn't any other private marketplace that works like that, and our health care system shouldn't either. Buying a car or a house sight and price unseen doesn't make any sense. So why should we ex be expected to pay for our health care that same way? If we're serious about health care reform, we'll get serious about finding bipartisan ways to reduce the spending in this bill. And we'll get serious about finding bipartisan ways to raise the necessary revenues to meet the spending. And two things that should jump out at all of you as I've outlined the challenges facing Congress in reforming our health care system. First, it's possible, and second, it's very difficult. My job as ranking member of the Help Committee and member of the Finance Committee and the Budget Committee is to work with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to ease the difficulties and work as hard as I can to achieve what's possible. I think that I was sent here by the people of Wyoming to take on the difficult tasks and find ways to achieve what is possible. Ronald Reagan once said that the person who agrees with you 80% of the time is a friend and an ally, not a 20% traitor. As the process of health care reform continues, I'll search out friends and allies. I believe I, I have them in this room and I'll have them in the halls of Congress as this debate heats up. I'm committed to a meaningful process and I'm aware of the challenges that that lie ahead. This is an issue that we need to get right. If 51 people are all that vote for it, the American people will not have confidence in it, and it probably won't work. But if we can have about 80 senators in favor of it, we will have covered enough of the different kinds of problems, loopholes, unintended consequences, that the product that comes out will work and will have the confidence of the American people. We have never had a bill this complicated. We have never had a bill that involved this many people. So we do need to take the time with it and get it right. Or the confidence in Congress and in America will go down.